take place. And with all that, I can assume, especially the participants in this exhibition from neighboring friendly country India and other countries as well, that Nepal is the destination. We have a massive infrastructure development project, whether it's a network of highways, we even talk about railways, monorails, and hydro potential is under there in Nepal. In the coming 10 years, the government has already estimated that 17,000 megawatt of energy will be produced in Nepal. We have even encouraged not only our traditional conventional hydropower, even solar, wind, and there are many other alternative energy sources which are also in our priority. The focus of this exhibition, Build Nepal, goes forward. Your participation. I also want to thank all those exhibitors, and I must say from my country, but also from the rest of the world, who have made the effort and who have recognized the opportunities that exist in this country. I think I should make a simple point to you and Your Excellency, if you will permit me to say this. <laughs> the last few years have seen Nepal move forward on its economic agenda. Much more is to be done, we all know that. It should again continue along that trend. If you just step out, you will see that the greatest effort is on infrastructure development, fundamental infrastructure development, roads, electric power, bridges, and there's a whole lot of other efforts.